A Chinese electric car company has just delivered 50 electric cars with solid state batteries. So this is really a seminal moment in the history of the electric car and the history of the battery. And honestly, it's shocking to me that nobody has even reported on what has just happened in China. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Great to have you on the channel. Welcome back to everyone else. Great to have you too. 2022 is going to be an absolutely amazing year. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel by clicking the little icon notification thing. If you just subscribe to the channel, you still won't get a lot of our videos in your feed. And some of them, mm, some of them are going to be really interesting this year. I've got a whole series of new videos coming lined up, which Boy, am I excited to bring and share with you some really cool stuff happening over the next couple of months, next couple of years. Wow, insane. Anyway, this is the first kind of, well, actually no, a video I just made yesterday was the most exciting battery, the most exciting story I've read in maybe a year. So keep a lookout for that one. I'm sure you'll see it when it comes up. But this is also extremely exciting as well, but I'm not sure what to make of this. I'm not sure how legit this story is, but I've got to share it with you because it's very, very interesting. Now, Chinese automaker Dongfeng Motor announced today that it has completed delivery of its first 50 electric vehicles with solid state batteries, jointly developed with lithium producer Ganfeng Lithium in Xinyu City in China. Now, if you don't know who Ganfeng are, well, you should because they are the world's largest producers of lithium. And they started their own battery company a few years ago, which is kind of a scary thought. Imagine if Ganfeng were to become one of the largest battery producers in the world, which is very possible. And they maintain their dominance as the largest producer of lithium in the world. Well, that combination, wow, that could be scary. Now, these Dongfeng E70 electric cars will be put into demonstration operations in the taxi market in Yangtze, Guangzhou, Zhejiang, and Yangsu. Now, I'm sure I butchered those names really badly, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, these electric cars are gonna be used as taxis in a bunch of different cities in China. And I think the point here is, right, to test them, to give them hundreds of thousands of kilometers. And what happens is, this is one thing people in the West don't know. When you're a kind of a emerging company in China, often these companies, they put their cars intentionally into taxi fleets to kind of take a stress test to show to the industry, hey, these things are the real deal. Look at look at these cars getting belted and they're still driving. I mean, that's what they've that's what BYD did with their electric cars. They put them into the taxi market and the, the consumers were like, oh, we don't know about the electric cars, you know, I don't know. And BYD said, well, look, okay, we're going to give them to the taxi drivers and we're going to, you know, they're going to thrash them and then you're going to see that they're actually good. And now what did BYD do? They give you a 500,000 kilometer warranty on their battery. That's just that's not just a warranty on the battery. That's a warranty to guarantee you a minimum of 60% of the original capacity after 500,000 kilometers of range being driven on that car. And that's insane. So this is what I think Dongfeng are aiming to do, something similar, to prove that their solid state batteries are the real deal. Are they? I have no idea yet. We'll see. Now, these EVs apparently are powered by a fully solid state battery from Ganfeng Lithium, the world's largest lithium producer by market capitalization. Now, I'm going to tell you why I'm skeptical of this story, but I'll wait and tell you the full story first, so then you can make up your own mind. Now, the battery uses solid state flexible diaphragm technology, and the individual cells have passed puncture and 50% crash deformation tests and it is subjected to a hot box environment at 180 degrees Celsius without any abnormalities whatsoever, according to Dong Feng. It sounds pretty legit. Now, the battery module uses an aluminum alloy frame with high precision beam laser welding technology to achieve a pack efficiency of more than 86%, the company said. I've got to say that's an insanely impressive pack efficiency. I don't know how they've managed to do that, but full kudos to them for getting to 86%. Now, Dongfeng did not announce the range of these cars or the energy density of the battery. So we don't know what those two things are and those are pretty important. That leads to me having some skepticism, but they have announced the new version of this battery that they're currently working on. Apparently it's in production, as in they're testing it right now. 
And this battery here, notably, Ganfeng Lithium announced in early December as its first generation solid state battery, a solid liquid hybrid lithium ion battery. Now, I don't know exactly what that means until further details come to light, which I'll share with you when those further details do arrive, which I'm sure they will. Now, this battery has an oxide electrolyte and it uses graphite for the negative electrode. It has a diaphragm, but unlike traditional diaphragms, it uses a solid electrolyte diaphragm, Ganfeng Lithium previously has stated. Now, what is this second generation battery? This sounds like the more promising product to me. Apparently, Ganfeng are working on a second generation all solid state battery with an energy density of more than 360 watts per kilo. That is the key here, that energy density is insanely impressive. So it's gonna be really interesting to see when they actually deliver these new batteries, if they do this year. I mean, if they actually can deliver on this on a 360 watt per kilo solid state battery with super fast charging, this could be a massive game changer. But one of the red flags I'm seeing here is the fact they haven't disclosed the range of this vehicle. Second red flag I'm seeing here is they haven't disclosed the energy density of the batteries. The third red flag I'm seeing is only Dongfeng Motor, which is kind of an obscure company in China, not known for producing electric cars, really. I mean, they do produce them, but not really known for that. You'd think if this technology was as good as they're claiming it is, that Tesla, BYD potentially, potentially NEO, potentially X-Punk, potentially NIDA or Hoson Motors, potentially LM Motors, potentially, you know, any one of a whole range of different Chinese electric car manufacturers, not even just Chinese, but even possibly other companies globally would be considering using these batteries. And I haven't heard any talk of that happening. That Those are the red flags I'm seeing here. Now, Ganfeng Lithium has a production line for the battery that's currently up and running. So it is being commercially produced with volume production capacity. That's the key. That's the key challenge for solid state batteries. So that in and of itself is extremely impressive. Now the production currently has a capacity of 0.3 gigawatt hours and will continue to ramp up in the future, it has previously said. On January the 22nd, Ganfeng Lithium announced the startup of its new 10 gigawatt hours per year lithium battery project in Xinjiang which includes a lithium iron phosphate square hard shell production line, a soft pack cell production line, and a solid state battery production line. So three different battery lines for three different types of batteries that they'll be producing. That's very interesting. Now, back to Dongfeng. CNET Post says it started setting up its solid state battery project in 2018, and it began working with Ganfeng Lithium on the development of first generation solid state battery systems back in July of 2019. Now in June 2021, Don Feng signed a strategic partnership with Gang Feng Lithium to create a solid state battery demonstration operation project. And basically, this is the fruit of those efforts. Now, I should point out, this electric car, the Dong Feng E70, is a model primarily aimed at the taxi, the cab market in China, and they sold more than 30,000 units last year. So, is this legit? To be honest, I can't say it's not, because it sounds like it is. But I think the key here is maybe it is actually not a fully solid state battery. So maybe it's a hybrid, which I've spoken about in the past. I've made other videos. I'll put some links in the description below to those batteries that I've spoken about, so you can find out some more about these hybrid solid state batteries. That's what it sounds like. But here, the very interesting part that I'm seeing here is this second generation version. If this second generation version does have an energy density of more than 360 watt per kilo, then that, my friends, is next level. That is very interesting. And the fact that this is coming from the world's largest producer of lithium, wow, we really do live in exciting times today. I mean, imagine if in, say, five years from now, you could get an affordable EV with a solid state battery with 360 watt or plus potentially more energy density. I mean, that means you might get, you might have to buy an affordable car with a range of a thousand kilometers that'll fast charge in maybe, maybe no more than 10 minutes. So what an exciting time it is to be alive. I've got to say, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Sound legit, sound fake. Tell me what you think. Have a great day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.